Today we are going off the beaten track. This is interesting photospheres in obscure countries on GeoGuessr. Let's go. Okay, here we are with the map ready to go. It says a selection of hand-picked photospheres in obscure countries anywhere without official coverage. So no countries where GeoGuessr would normally take you. So we're gonna have to think a bit outside the box here. So I'm ready, let's give this a go. I'm gonna play no move as usual, uh, but it's photospheres anyway, but uh, let's do this. Okay, we're starting off inside. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. It's, it's in English. I'm not sure where to put it. This is a hard one. Oh, okay, there's some... I'm not sure, something on the wall. What's our row? One R row. 80. I could make a guess that we're somewhere over here. Maybe Nepal? It could be any of these. Or over here, maybe we'll go like Armenia? Sure. Okay, Oman, fair, I'll take it. Middle East, we got that right at the very least. Nah, that rhymed. Okay, what have we got here? Very basic license plates. Um, not a lot on them at all. It feels somewhat tropical. Oh, maybe Jamaica. Uh, I like the flag colour for Jamaica here. I'm going to go Jamaica. Um, let's go Kingston, Jamaica. I'll take it. It was actually Montego Bay, but I got the right country. I will take that. Okay, this one. Ooh. Interesting. So we've got some sort of Asian, Japanese style architecture. These rolling fields are very interesting. I think we have to go maybe Vietnam. Does that count? It's a legacy country. It's not going to be North Korea. So I think we have to go... Um, what country is not on GeoGuessr that would have... We've got Taiwan, we've got Japan. It's not going to be North Korea. It could be a part of China that we don't see. Because look at the traditional outfits. They look Chinese. Do I go Vietnam or do I go China? I think I have to go China. Looking at the characters... Stick it in China somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe like Beijing? Or should I come down this side? I don't know. I'll go in the middle. Okay. I'll take it. Very remote looking location. It's a viewing platform. Okay. Next. We're doing all right so far. Um, can't quite make that out. Ooh, right. We have to decide whether we want to go Africa. That says restroom in English. I think it might be Africa. It almost looks like you're looking out onto sort of safari, but there's a lot of forest and water. Hmm. What does that say? Smoking area. It's like a whole viewing platform restaurant. It seems to all be in a row. Do I go South America? Wouldn't it be Spanish? I think I have to go Africa. Maybe I go, like, somewhere over here. Maybe not a French-speaking one. 
beginning. Could try somewhere over here. Fingers crossed. Ethiopia. Okay. Right continent is probably as good as we were going to get there anyway. I will take my 230 points. Next one. And the last one for this round. Um, I've actually seen this before in a different map. This one was Burma. So I can get some points here. Um, it was... Somewhere in here. I'll just stick it here because it's close enough. I can't actually find where it was. Oh, the pagoda. That's what it was called. Slightly over to the right. But, good enough. 14.8. Not a bad score. Let's see if we can't beat it in another one. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Where do we put this one? Ancient looking monuments. From the... Uh cultural dress we can make some assumptions here i'd be tempted by maybe oman or yemen or kuwait maybe syria because i know that jordan and israel have a lot of these styles of you know original ancient um could just be saudi arabia i wonder if we zoom in over here and you see any sort of it would be large. It would be very, very large. See, the thing is with Jordan is a country that's already covered quite a bit. So if we sort of zoom in, you look for these important areas. Lebanon has regular coverage now, so I don't know how old this map is and if that will count. Um... Maybe we go Amman. It's a bit mountainous. Let's just see what we can see. So they've got a lot of like dunes and old grave sites, that sort of thing. Might try Amman. Algeria. Okay, I didn't think of that. Where was it? So it looks like the old baths and theatres, maybe like an old um, town, basically. Roman ruins, that's the better word for it. In uh, Timgad in Algeria. Not a good amount of points there, so let's try and pull it back with the next one. Okay. Not easy. We have... Arabic and there's a bit of a flag on this plate so we might be able to figure it out uh, that flag is gonna be hmm I gotta remember my flags now is it Iraq or Iran I think if what I'm seeing is accurate green, green white red I think that has to be Iran so if we're going for Iran should we go for the capital Tehran let's do it it was actually Abadan, Abadan, but we got the right country, so that's good. Points on the board. Oh, we're at a concert now. Um, I'm gonna say Africa. I do not know what country. Uh, maybe some flags here. Libya. I'm not sure what I'm seeing. The footage is not great. Looks like some red, maybe some yellow and some black on the flags. We've got some traditional outfits looking around the outside. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at here, but the closest flag I can think of is Angola. So that's all I've really got. Flag is red and black and we've got red outfits. So uh, it could be like Zimbabwe. I don't, I don't really know. I'm just going to go with Angola. Papua New Guinea. Port Moresby. No points there. 
we are in a shop now with some Arabic outside um okay fair amount of English on all the packaging Android TV I'm not sure to be honest I don't see any prices or anything this is a hard one we've just got Arabic uh, I think we go maybe Iraq I don't know could be anywhere Oman I'll go Muscat it was Iraq why did I change last minute okay and the last one has not loaded there we go Ooh, lots of flags which one do we pick okay interesting some kind of a museum interesting language it's definitely a museum we just need to pick what we're looking at so we've got some Russian artifacts. I'm not sure what they are. They kind of look like photos or like little books. If number one is this, oh, I can't remember what this flag is. It could be there if it's number one. Okay, um, with that last one, I forgot to unpause, um, but it was indeed Azerbaijan, that last round. As I went with that initial number one case, um, we did indeed go with this uh, number one unit, and it's the Museum of Miniature Books. So we got 11k in that game. Um, let's see if we can't beat it next time. Okay, moving on. When it loads, interesting plate here. Uh, doesn't look familiar. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't because these countries are not regularly in Geogasa. But that is an English looking litter bin, which is interesting. What we've got here are lots and lots of tiny islands. Quite built up, actually. Look at these houses. Where do we think this is? There's sports ground, there's wind turbines, all on the islands. Um, interesting. It's got an Asian vibe to it, but I'm not sure if it's like a Caribbean island that I should be looking at. Where's got tiny, lots and lots of tiny islands attached? I mean, Vietnam does have areas where there are lots of tiny, tiny islands, like here. But I don't know if they're that built up. We could be like out here, I guess. It, it doesn't feel right. There's lots of yachts. Maybe we are in the Caribbean. Let's have a look. So we could be looking at British Virgin Islands. However, these are quite... small and they're not really, like, nearby. Doesn't feel quite right. This is called Five Islands Village, so it could be nearby. Should we just go in the middle of the... I feel like these aren't that built up, that's the only thing. It would have to be over here. Oh, it could be one of these. Let's just have a look around. Could be like Fiji or something. So I think this is our best bet. I'm not sure, but we'll give it a go, I guess. Wow, where was it? The Seychelles. Okay, that makes sense. We'll know for next time. Round two. Ooh. Feels quite remote. 
somewhere like Tajikistan or Turkmenistan or Uzbekistan maybe I would guess based on the like colouring and size of these mountains somewhere in this middle section where was it? Tajikistan in the very remote location of southeast ooh okay this could be China Vietnam look at this lamppost how cool wow okay unique unique looking um where do i want to go the symbols are obviously very like chinese so i think we have to go china i just don't know where i would go in china uh, we've got massive mountains and a river running north somewhere in china obviously don't know it very well being that it's not in the game which is a shame it would be very cool to have it in the game let's just go somewhere on the border down in an autonomous prefecture okay cool looking place and we got some points on the board and lot no nope, second to last we've got we've got Nile tours so this must be the river Nile which I believe runs through like Egypt let's have a little look if we went to Cairo you see the Nile so I think I'm going to stick it in Cairo is the best bet even though it goes quite far it was down in Sudan but we were able to spot it so not bad and now lastly lots of Arabic lots of Arabic in these games obviously it's a big section of the world that's missing a lot of coverage could go back to Tajikistan could be Oman there's a lot of options really um, do you want to go Oman, Yemen, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, or Kuwait? Do I stick it in Saudi Arabia? No, with those mountains, I think we go up here again. Nice call. It was Afghanistan? That was just outside Kabul. 11-7. Not bad, but I think we can do better. So I'm going to try one more round. Let's do this. Right, we've got to focus, lock in, and we're going to do it this game. So, we're in like a market. Um, probably in South America. I reckon this is a South American market. Tree is interesting. You see these in southern parts of the US. So we could lean somewhere maybe in the middle, maybe like Honduras or like Managua, Costa Rica has just got coverage. Or we could obviously be further down, Suriname, Guyana, Venezuela. But I don't think that's too bad again. Ah, Timor-Leste is on the top. How did I miss that? So I'm going to therefore go, okay, so I'm going to go for the capital. And see about that. Nice. Oh my God. One point away. Literally one street over. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Oh, okay. Her top says, actually, I'm in Havana. So this could be answered for us again. See, why is she holding a cat? Sometimes it's about uh, finding the smaller details. And considering what I've got to go on, which is very little. I, what am I looking at? I think I just have to go for it. I don't mind Havana. 
Nice. Good scores. This time... Whoa, okay. What, some grand indoor mall type thing? Where there's a Harley Davidson shop. Some Chinese looking characters. Um, question is... Yeah, this is definitely, I think, China. An amazing looking place. This would be awesome to visit. Uh, it's all in Chinese. I don't see any English. So we'll just go maybe Beijing? I don't know. Is that too far away or is that a good shout? Or do I go like in the middle somewhere? Like Wuhan, Sh Shanghai is a bit more middle. Let's try Shanghai. Ah, that's actually bad points. Because it was the other side. What is it? You're not even marked. Some kind of indoor mall. Exhibition centre, maybe? Fair. Fair dues. But we've got the right country, so we shouldn't be too mad. Breast cancer symbol on the front of the government press office. Oh, why does this look familiar? I think I've covered this in one of those, like, what flag is it uh, maps or something. Um, oh, now this is going to test me. Okay. It's... Oh, is it the, um, it's not a French Polynesia flag, Piawee or something like that flag? Does that look light blue? No, it doesn't. Micronesia? Is that where something's called? It's definitely like a island vibe, I think. It's got the tropical palm trees out the front. Question is, do you go off the coast of... Do you go Central America or do you go off Australia? I think I might lean Australia because that's English and this looks like a flag that I know. It might not even be a flag and the colour could be incorrectly saturated but we just have to do what we can do. I might just go for one of these smaller islands out here. I don't know what one. Tuvalu, French Polynesia, Kiribati, Micro should we just go Micronesia? Is there a capital? Um, it's not marked. I don't know what we're thinking. What we're thinking here. I mean, sure. Belize. Okay, I'll take that. Belmapan. Government press office. Okay. I'm glad I went that side. And what have we got in the last one here? Okay, there's a flag. We might be able to figure something out there. This is an actual photosphere this time. Of a very organised, decent sized, industrial looking town. Oh, he's ridden white cars. So let's figure out what side we're driving on. We're driving on the left no that must be going that way we're driving on the right we're driving on the right they're going that way they're going that way yes driving on the right we've got a sun to the north so we should be in the south um okay is this a flag we can figure out They look kind of Soviet-style buildings, which is interesting. I don't think it's Minsk at all. It doesn't look like Minsk. Um, I mean, it could be Minsk. Could be maybe like Georgia. Tbilisi. No, that's not structured at all. The way I would expect. Um, big tower thing. That's such accurate information, I know. Greenfield, there's like a river or a lake back there. This is like a fancy mosque or like place of worship. So this is like the main center where there's like a park leading up to the tower. And I don't know what this flag is. I don't even know what continent to go, I'll be honest. 
it looks very Soviet. I can't get that out of my head with all the block style flat buildings all in squares and lines. There's a lot of greenery too. I'm just going to go Moldova. I have no idea what I'm looking at. No idea. I can't guess. Kazakhstan. But that has regular coverage. Okay, it must be an older map. Okay. So that was the Afghan War Warriors uh, Park in Pavlodar. But it was Kazakhstan. Interesting. We're not done too badly at all. Consistent points there. Um, but I think I'm going to call it there for today. Definitely a fun map that we can explore again. Definitely needs some work. But obviously it's focusing on countries that we don't focus on every day. Which was fun to see. And uh, definitely interesting to learn more about the parts of the world we don't get to see in the game. Hopefully we will get to see them in the game in the future. Thank you guys for tuning in. I very much appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the day, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.